actually wasn't planning to watch a movie today because I had watched those three yesterday and I was like, I'm ahead of the game. And then I got a reminder on my phone, because I do that sometimes, that a Lou Ayers film was coming up on TCM. Basically, when I'm scheduling, so I work at TCM, if you didn't already know this, and when I'm scheduling uh, like tweets and things, and I'm going through the schedule, and, and the film pops up that I want to see, I add it to my calendar on my phone, and my phone is synced to my computer, and then the two things remind me like a half hour before the movie comes on, and then I'm like, oh shit, I have this movie to watch. So, um... This happened. I forgot all about it. This is why I do this, because otherwise I, I miss things, you know? So this was Fingers at the Window. It's one of a handful of films directed by Charles Lederer. Charles Lederer is most known for his collaborations with Ben Hecht, like um, Monkey Business and uh, His Girl Friday and uh, some other screenplays that he's written, like Gentlemen Before Blondes, etc. He's mostly a screenwriter. He made a couple of movies. The not, it's not the best. This isn't the best movie ever, but it's not a bad movie. It's from 1942, or at least it was released in 1942, um, and it stars Lou Ayers and Lorraine Day. They are being uh, reunited from the Dr. Kildare films, and Basil Rathbone as, obviously, the villain. And basically the plot is that in Chicago, there's a uh, epidemic of axe murderers, ha murders happening, and it keeps being different lunatic, lunatics, lunatics, and um, they're like, why are all these people just going nuts and killing people with an axe? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Then Lou Ayers shows up. He is a uh, actor who um, follows or sees that a socialite played by Lorraine Day is being followed by somebody and helps her out. And while they, you know, they fall in love because it's an old Hollywood film, he also uh, discovers what the real plot is and why. How, or how all of these axe murder things are actually connected and why they're happening. So that's the plot. It's sort of a murder comedy noir? Because it's like, it's a murder film. It's a detective film, except he's not really a detective. He's, a, he's, an, he's an actor. And it's quite comical. Um, and as uh, Jeff Lindenberger pointed out on Twitter... Lou's uh, comic energy in this is very similar to um, the comic films of Jack Lemmon. So, and and the, you, thinking about it, they have a very similar uh, intensity in both their comedies and their dramas. So that's interesting. I wonder if uh, Lemmon was a big fan of Lou, maybe. Uh, so you know, this is a, this is a good this was a good rainy day film. It's raining outside. I can't do anything but stay home. So. Um, it, you know, it works. It, it was it was thrilling when it needed to be thrilling. It was uh, funny when it needed to be funny. I, the romance doesn't quite work. They kind of shoehorn that in there. But because audiences were so used to Lorraine Day and Louis as a couple from the Dr. Kildare films, I can see why they were like, we don't really need to build up this romance. People will just buy it. Um, so it's, it's fun. I, I think it's available on public domain, actually. I, I saw a couple of versions on YouTube, but they're probably not as, um, it's probably not as, um, um, sort of, or the, the, the transfer is probably not as good. The transfer that, um, TCM is showing is beautiful, beautiful, and it's on Watch TCM, so you can go and watch it on there if you have TCM and or Watch TCM. So I recommend it. It's fun. I love Lou Ayers. He's fantastic. This was uh, 1942's Fingers at the Window, directed by Charles Lederer. And uh, it's a fun little fun little chiller. Um, hoping you have, have been having a great couple of days here in 2017.